Yo, what is up? Joshua Casper here with another quick massive sound. This is the second part of the two-parter tutorial where I've been making um, sounds from a Freaky Loops Complexstro Dubstep Volume 4 pack. I took two of the effects patches out of the pack because um, I thought the pack was so dope and I wanted to show you guys um, what was inside of it and encourage you to go get it because um, I know that it's hit or miss sometimes with massive patches. Uh, packs or whatever, but uh, I think Freaky Loops has really kind of um, been on point lately, and uh, this this particular pack is definitely dope for leads and bases and blah blah blah. But I figured I'd show you how to make two of just two of the many sounds that come in the pack, and hopefully that will kind of inspire you to go to go ahead and grab it. Um, so I do recommend. I approve this message. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Today we're going to be making a um, pitch riser um, kind of crescendo type sound. Um, this is what it's going to sound like. So um, I've kind of done a little bit of tweaking of my own, but more or less that's the sound that comes in the pack, so that's the type of quality that's in there. But let's go ahead and get started and see if we can't uh, remake this bad boy. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is put a new MIDI track inside of Ableton, and what I did was just uh, Control shift t to get that in there. I'm going to hold down Control, drag and drop to duplicate that MIDI clip, and put a new instance of Massive. Um, and we're going to be using just that one oscillator. That's fine, no modulation. I put a little bit of noise on the top, but uh, you don't have to. That's up to you, obviously. Um, we're going to be using a low pass filter here. Um, we're going to need to put it up into that filter. Turn it up. Uh, the main envelope here, we want the level all the way up and kind of bring it in on the uh, attack just a tad and have some release on it so it's not too abrupt. Um, we also want to have the uh, wavetable all the way over and we want to pitch it up 24. 24 semitones. And we're going to come into this LFO and um, we're going to turn it on sync and I'm going to put it on 1 over 4. Boom. And I'm going to use this um, curve, which is just a straight line down. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it on the pitch and I'm just going to pull it down negative four. And that's going to give us a kind of doo doo sound. Do you like that? That's my mouth synthesizer right there. But anyway, um, I am also going to use the uh, this other LFO and I'm going to turn it on sync and I'm going to put it on 8. We're going to use that same curve and we're going to add that down here and we're going to bring it down 24. So let's see what we have thus far. So what you can hear is this first LFO here is giving it the quick and then this uh, number six LFO is making it rise from negative 24 semitones to positive 24 semitones over the course of uh, eight bars, which is noted here. So eight over one. And here it's one over four, which is the quick. So I hope that um, is explained enough. But uh, let's make the sound a little bit nicer by turning on a tube here. And we'll just kind of turn it up a bit. Uh, we're also going to use a synced reverb uh, delay, excuse me. And we're going to use uh, 4 over 16 and 3 over 16. And that's just your typical kind of uh, ping pongy sound. I'm going to turn the wet up. I'll turn it all up straight about 12 o'clock. Cool, and I'm also going to use the EQ here. I'm going to turn this frequency all the way down, and then I'm going to kind of just turn everything to about uh, 11. And that just gets rid of that muddy kind of low end that we don't really need right there. 
Um, what else do we need to do? Oh, uh, that's fine. Let's also add the um, this uh, LFO to the cutoff here and bring it like this. And that way we get more uh, starting off slow with more intensity. So as you can hear, it's, um, it starts off at the cutoff with the low cutoff, and it will build up into a high cutoff. And that's kind of what we're looking for um, as a, for a um, riser kind of effect. Uh, and where the magic happens, as usual, is inside the voicing tab. And now we're going to turn it up to four. And we're also going to turn the pitch cutoff on, bring it down just a tick and the pan position and bring that all the way over. And that's pretty cool, it's pretty wild, but let's put it on monophone. Pretty sweet, huh? Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you can obviously, like always, go in and fine tune. But that's just uh, one of the many dope patches inside that life, uh, that ma uh, massive pack from Freaky Loops. And I'm just so pumped about it, and I needed to share it with you guys. Um, links to everything in the description. Go check it out. And uh, as always, we'll see you next time.